From fillers to weight loss drugs like Ozempic, injectable treatments are gaining popularity. But as their popularity grows, so do concerns about their safety and effectiveness. I spoke with multiple health experts all across the tri-state to get a closer look at the benefits and risks of all kinds of treatments. So if somebody comes in here and says, I want to look youthful and younger, yeah. what do you say? That that's usually easy. Um, so it's just a matter of uh, figuring out what works for the individual. And it can be anything from just a little bit of neuromodulator to weaken the muscle movements and create a reduction in fine lines to a little bit of filler carefully placed around areas like the eyes, like I've had done, um, the jawline to subtly refine that. Or it can be something longer lasting, so something surgical for each of those areas. Just depends on the individual aging of the person, their their genetics. We want it to look natural and, and overall conservative, but a nice difference. Dr. Alexander Donoff is an internationally renowned facial plastic surgeon. He's been perfecting the fine art of making women and men from around the globe look younger and feel more confident for two decades. How many faces <laughs> do you think that you've had your hands on in this area? Thousands, easily, yeah. Um, I mean, there, there are a variety of types of procedures we do and sometimes it's a very quick 15 to 30 minute procedure and sometimes it's a longer one. The goal is that people look so good that people think they look better perhaps but maybe they think it's the hair color or the, the hairstyle or something like that. So it blends well enough that uh, that is passable as something else and people can't figure out what it is. So that that's that's our goal. How many years can you knock off? So if somebody is in their 70s or 80s and we've straightened their jawline and neck area that is, you know, 70, that's a 30 to 40 year change in their, in their jaw and neck. If somebody's in their 50s and they have some looseness in the jaw and neck area, then more like 10, 10 years-ish. But, I mean, it's easy to take a decade off, whether it's the eyes or the neck. Oh, boy, that's a big, big difference, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. There are so many before and after photos showcasing success stories of eyelid, chin, ear surgery, forehead lifts, Fat transfers, lip lifts, neck lifts, face lifts, cheek augmentation, nose jobs, reconstructive surgery, fillers, Botox, microneedling, and so much more. Christy Zimmerman is one of his many success stories. When I hit 50, I started to see kind of like the lower neck, lower face, um, starting to age and sag. And what I saw is more jowls. So that was the portion that really bothered me. I did the lower face and neck correction. Would you yep. do it again? 100%. I'd do it again tomorrow. So for some people, surgery really is the best option, and there's many times that I'll refer somebody out for an eyelid blepharoplasty to help lift their eyelids, or they might need a neck lift or a lower face lift, because that's what's going to give them the best option. But there are times that you can do things to help actually prevent people from getting to that stage, and that's what I love doing, is to help actually prevent some of the aging process, or what we like to call pre-rejuvenation. All right, should we cover your eyes? Dr. Mona Foad is the owner and founder of Mona Dermatology. So BBL is a broadband light that's really great at treating sun damage. Hmm. It's great because there's not really minimal downtime and it doesn't really hurt. You have you turn your head this way? How young can you make somebody look? I think it's really just turning back the clock. I'd say maybe five to ten years. Definitely a little tingly. Okay. And then that stimulation of the muscle contracting. What's the success for you? When someone comes in and they just feel more confident and more happy. You, you know? can tell. Yeah. And they just feel better about themselves. When you start to feel better, you want to look better too. Dr. Hal Blattman is the founder of Latman Health and Wellness Center. And he says it all starts with food. You know the basics are gluten, dairy, and sugar. So just if you start off with taking those three things out, is that a you, good start? You could feel so much better within just the next week to three weeks. Removing those items, he says, can decrease puffiness in your face, reduce pain, lessen headaches, fix joint problems, give you more energy, and overall make you feel younger. So what are some of these things that the peptides, what are other things? Can you list off some of the things that peptides can You can grow muscle, you can grow bone, you can grow tendon and ligament, you can repair from injury, you can repair the gut, you can quiet the gut. You can assist the immune system up or down if it needs to be re-regulated. All these things are part of you. You can have your body grow more growth hormones so that your body acts like it was younger and can repair. You can sleep better at night. There's peptides you can do to relieve depression. There's peptides you can do to help relieve ADD and an overactive brain.
And then there's the drug we've all been hearing about, Ozempic. Lose weight with a few strings. I think that's fascinating. I know, it's very fascinating. Um, there are all different ways that you can do this. The average cost of like dermal fillers, $715. The average cost of lip augmentation, like dermal fillers, 743 If you're looking for something more invasive, like maybe a nose job, it's going to cost you upward of like $7,500. The average cost is only part of the total price. It does not include anesthesia, operating room facilities, or other related expenses. And that is all according to the latest statistics from the American Society of Plastic Surgeons.